Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic, and fabulous your way. Yes, I'm back with another unboxing. This is my second doll from the Wicked Collection. This is Fiero, um, played by the handsome Jonathan Bailey. Um, I became a big fan of his from Bridgington, you guys know. Um, the Bridgington series. Even if you've not watched it, you've heard about Bridgington. And you know, he's one of the handsome um young men in that um series and um I'm just excited that they made a doll of him. You know, this doll um is a lot a lot true to his likeness, though it cannot come close to being as handsome as he is, but it is a very striking doll. Um again, I pre-ordered him from Target. Um he came he came the um the beginning of this week. So, you know, I've had him and I, you know, I haven't unboxed him and here I am on Friday night. Usually I'm tired and ready to go to bed, but I'm not. I'm full of energy, so I've been in here in the doll room trying to tidy up a bit, trying to arrange things, working on some of my doll ramas, you know, just always doing something in here because it just seems like it's always something to do. But but I, there's other things I need to be doing as well. But I have him, and I wasn't going to do a video. I really wasn't in the mood. But, you know, I, I cannot not open him on the channel. I have to share him with you guys. So I forgot how much he was. I want to say I think he was 20, 22, 23, something like twenty four ninety nine. I think that's what it was. Um, so here is his packaging. I think all the packaging is the same of the dolls I think it is so here he is in the packaging quite striking and then here is the back of the box it tells you a little bit about him I can't wait to see this movie I just cannot wait um it just tells you a little bit about his character you know he has a carefree spirit you know and he's a prince and um he he I think I think it's gonna be like a a little twist of love interest I think him and Glenda are going to hit it off. And then I think he's going to meet Alphaba. And I think something's going to click inside of him over her. So I'm going, I'm thinking that that's kind of where the storyline is going. You know, I don't want to give anything away. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But the packaging, this is the packaging. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get them on out of the box. Because I was getting ready to pop them out of the box while I was sitting in here winding down. And I decided... <laughs> You know, I'm going to open him on camera with my doll fam tonight. So, there he is. I don't think he's going to be that hard to get out of the box. Loving his colors. Loving the colors. You know, I'm really loving that. You know, I must say, you know, Mateo really can get under your skin a lot. Not giving you giving us better quality things you know let's just put it out there but um when it comes to doing the faces and the likeness of the characters you know they, they're really spot on with that you know i believe in giving people credit when credit is due all right all right so here he is out of the box so let's start with his little accessories so he comes with this nice little um satchel i'm gonna call it a satchel bag um, and again, even though, just like Alphabus, they're made out of plastic, um, rubbery plastic, but it's nicely done. You know, it's really nicely done. The details in the strap here are really good. You know, you got the little details of the buckles. And it's like I always say, those of you out there that are really good artists with details, you guys could really hook this up. You could give it more realistic look. And then you got the buckle here on the um, front, and then it does open. And you got a nice little spot in there. I guess it's going to be big enough to put his, his little book in there. We'll see. And this is the bottom of it, and this is the back. All right? And then it comes with, then he comes with this little, this little book. Um, it's not a functioning book. It's just a mold of a book. And um, it's detailed. You know, it would have been nice if it would have been a little functioning book, but it's not. But again, you guys already know <laughs> who we're dealing with here. 
if a corner can be cut they're gonna cut it all right so the book does fit inside his little satchel all right so let's take a look at a handsome fiero all right so here he is let me give you guys an up close look of him and he is quite handsome he is quite handsome. Yes, he has the molded on hair. I know a lot of you have talked a lot of smack about that. Why did they give him molded on hair? But it is done. Um, it is done very well. Um, I must say, you know, it's molded on. And, you know, I prefer rooted hair. But, you know, I, I can do I can do the molded on hair. It would have been a lot better. I'm pretty sure he would have cost a whole lot more if he would have had the molded on hair. But again, he's quite handsome, you know, quite handsome. He even has the stubble on his face there. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but he is quite handsome. I love those blue eyes. How you doing there? How are you doing? All right, so let's take a look at his, his attire. So it is pretty weighted fabric. Um, it's not lined or anything. You guys know it's Velcro. Um, the inside stitching seems to be done okay. You know, everything's okay. Um, and then the collar has a little extra oomph there to give it a little weight, a little detail. Um, all of this stuff is, like, printed on. Yeah, it's kind of printed on, but it's done really nice. Printed on buttons, printed on details. Um, but again, it's done okay. It's okay. The stitching is also printed on, or is it? Looks like the stitching is real stitching. The stitching, the stitching is real stitching. That is real stitching. I'm not going to say what kind of threading it is, but the stitching around the jacket is stitching. It's not printed on. Also, the hem of the sleeve, the same. So that is, and even around the collar, this is real stitching. Yep, but this design here is printed on. Yep. Alright, so then let's take a look at his pants. The pants are of a like a stretchy material. Um, they're okay. They're okay. And again, it looks like the threading is you know, real threading, but then you've got the the printed on design on the pants. And it's on the side of both legs. And then here are the boots. I will take his boots off to look at the feet and and how far the pants go down. But the boots, again, are very detailed. They're very detailed. The mold is very detailed. He's got the gold, um, what do you call this? My mind will go blank, but you guys know what I mean. The gold here at the toe. He's got that. And then, of course, he has to slit in the back to get them on and get them off. This is the bottom of the boot. This is the inside of the boot. And again, pretty detailed. So let me remove the boot. And then we'll look at the articulation, see what he's got. Alright, so his pants do not go all the way down to the ankle. The pants stop there. The feet, the feet have a little detail in the toes there. And as you can see, he does not have ankle articulation. Alright, Fierro, let me get your boot back on. I don't want you looking crazy. All right. So as you can see, he does have articulation at the knee. So he does have an articulated body. So he has an articulated knee. He has an articulated elbow. And he has an articulated wrist. And these are what the hands look like. Could have been better details in the hands. But he has that cuffed hand, I guess, to hold the book. And then he has this hand here, the straight hand. And then his head does turn from side to side, and it does not move up and down that much. Shoulder, forward, and back. No chest articulation. Don't you ladies pass out when I show you his chest. So his body, it's not that detailed, but you know, it is an articulated body, you know. I don't know if I'm going to rebody him. You know, I, I think since I can't rebody Alphaba, you know, I'm really, these are not characters in my mini-verse. You know, I really am excited about the Wicked movie. Um, I love The Wizard of Oz. I grew up, oh, I could have unhooked that instead of putting it across his arm. That little piece pops out and it goes back in. 
Very big fan of The Wizard of Oz. My daughter loved The Wizard of Oz. I mean, her papa bought her the um the VHS tapes, um uh, VHS tape movie of it so she could watch it as often as she liked. She she loved it. And we loved it too, my brothers and I growing up. And so, you know, the wicked story is basically I the beginning are the story before Dorothy and her going to um, Oz, going to Oz. So this is the story, beginning of the story, you know, giving you the beginning of Alphabet's story, you know, the Wicked Witch of the West, or was she the Wicked Witch? Of, wicked, I don't know, was she the Wicked Witch of the West? Or, I don't know, but the Wicked Witch, the green one. <laughs> so, you know, that that's gonna, it's giving us that story, and I'm really excited about it. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys this. I'm not into musicals. I love music, but I do not care to go and watch a musical. I just cannot get into those. I'm just I just can't. You know, I I when there is movies that come out and those movies are musicals, you know, the, even though the storyline is awesome, I just cannot get into all that singing. I just can't. I, I don't know why, but I just can't. And my grandbaby is the same way. And there are a lot of people that are like that. You know, they just can't get into it. You know, I, I love live action um, theater, the, the, theater, but I can't do the all the singing, a lot of the singing. You know, I don't mind a song here or a song there, but... I just can't. <laughs> so I'm glad that they have the movie because then, you know, I, I can, I'm pretty sure I will enjoy that. So here are my two characters um, from the collection. And I know that this collection is going to grow because I'm pretty darn sure once I see the movie, I'm going to grow a t an attachment to all the characters and I'm going to want to get them all. But she was my main one, Alphaba. And then, of course, when I saw Fiero, I had to have him. I had to have Fierro. I had to have him. You know, being a fan of Mr. Jonathan Bailey with his good-looking self, I definitely had to get this doll. I just had to have him. I just did. And I hope you guys can see the little highlights in his hair. You know, I think they did a pretty decent job. For 20, 25, 24, might as well say $25 doll, I'm going to say I think, you know, they did okay. You know, you done learn to... Even though you don't like it, you've learned to know what to expect, you know. Even though your expectation is high, you still know if you're going to buy the product where you should by now. You kind of know what to expect. But if you like it or not, you kind of know. And, and, I'm, and I'm really surprised at the clothing, you know, because the material on the jacket is pretty weighted material. It seems to be pretty nice, decent um, fabric. And then the pants, again, like I said, they're stretchy and they're pretty nice. I just wish that they had come all the way to the, you know, to the ankle. But, you know, he's going to keep his boots on, so you won't see it anyway. But it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome pair. And no, he doesn't come with a doll stand, but he does stand on his own. You know, the girl, Gl um, Alphaba came with a doll stand. So now I'm definitely going to have to get Glenda, which I was planning on getting her. But, you know, I'm just kind of trying to wait to see if these dolls are going to go on sale a little bit. Couldn't wait for these two to go on sale. But the other, the other, because there's what? And I do want to get Alphaba in her collectible um, box. The one with her broom and her cape. I definitely want that one. So I think that one is going to be the one that I'm going to get that I'm not going to open. I'm going to definitely leave that one inside the box. You know, I really, really am. Really am. And she's just such a beautiful doll. She's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And guys, I just got to show you Cherish. Um, stand over this way, guys. I have, I've had so much fun photographing this beautiful doll i have had so much fun with her i mean she is absolutely gorgeous i mean she's absolutely gorgeous i have changed her outfit several times i've done two photo shoots of her and you know i just love her so much she is so much fun to photograph and um and i'm enjoying her if you follow me on instagram you've seen the reels <laughs> I am enjoying her. I'm having so much fun. The latest um, 
residents of my mini-verse. And, you know, she is absolutely beautiful. I do recommend this doll. You know, if you're riding the fence about her, you won't regret it. She is absolutely gorgeous, ain't you, girl? Yes, you are. And I named her Cherish, and I didn't, because I didn't have, I didn't name her when I unboxed her. When I took her out of the box, I do not know why one of my former students came to my mind. There is no resemblance. They do not resemble each other in any form or fashion. But Cherish came to my mind. Cherish is artistic. Um, she was nonverbal for a long time. Um, before she left elementary school with us, you know, she was, and she was very smart. She was able to, you know, say things. A lot of times she was just repeating what you said. But um, she just had this sweet spirit, this sweet soul about her, you know. I And when I opened her and took her in my hand, it's like thinking of Cherish made me say, this is going to be Cherish. It's like she is Cherish. And the name just stuck. I mean, it just stuck. I don't always name my dolls because, guys, I have so many freaking dolls. There is no way I'm going to remember all the names of these dolls. So there are certain dolls that I give names to and they're kind of like characters and like the main characters in the miniverse. And I usually remember their names. Like my 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 guy here. That's Curtis. And he's going to be Curtis and I'm never going to forget his name. But I, uh, you know, he has a name. But he's the only one in the group <laughs> other than Cherish behind him that has a name. Well, that's Ken, of course. And that's Sean, you know, but that's because Sean and Ken came with their names. But the other girls and then um Andrea, you know, she she came with a name. But I never named her. I don't think I did. The um the the ball um fashionista. And I know I never named her. But I did name Christine. I did name Christine back there. Yes, I did. See? See? I did. I did give Christine a name. But I don't think I named these two girls. I don't. I don't know why I think I did name you. But if I forgot your name, that means the name didn't stick. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to have the angel cake for my three-day weekend. I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, we're going to get to spend the weekend together. I told her Mima has a lot of leaves to rake and she's excited about raking leaves. She wants to jump in the leaves. So, you know, I'm going to have a pretty busy weekend. So that's why I thought I'd drop in and um, do this video so that I can, you know, spend a little time here on the channel with the doll fam. All right, guys. That concludes this video, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to hear from you in the comments. I really love hearing from you guys. I really do. The The communication through the um, comments is just amazing. Just amazing. All right. You know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We are Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video.